the province of British Columbia in Canada has recently declared suspension on the approval of new colleges that want to admit international students. This is for the next two years until February 2026. Notably, British Columbia is home to a large Indian student community. This comes a week after the Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, or the IRCC, introduced a temporary limit on study visas of international students. On the 22nd of January, Canada implemented a new policy capping study permits at around 3,60,000 for 2024, a 35 percent decrease from the previous year. The 2025 study permit quota will be announced later this year. This change, however, doesn't affect current permit holders, renewals or individuals pursuing master's and doctoral degrees. The Canada government introduced the new rules to control the growth of international students to alleviate pressure on the country's housing and healthcare infrastructure. International students in the country steadily increased to over 8 lakh in 2022, from 2,14,000 a decade ago. Another big change is international students at private colleges in Canada will no longer be eligible for post-study work permits. The government alleged that these colleges attract a large number of students, posing a loophole in post-graduation work permit eligibility. Because of this huge influx of Indian students, there were a lot of low-quality colleges who had come up in the, in the country. They were called associated colleges. So they are not full degree granting colleges. They are associated to a bigger college and they were working like uh, transit camps for a lot of these Indian students. And that is not right. They were charging a lot of money. The value proposition was not the high quality education. Value proposition is I will give you a pathway to get a Canadian citizenship, right? So it's a hop. It is, it's like a pit stop to that. And that is something where the Indian students were getting cheated. And that is something that Canadian government started getting cautious about. According to IRCC data, Canada issued over 5,50,000 student visas in 2022. Of this, 41% were given to Indian students. That's over 2,26,000 visas. Around 1,36,000 or 60% of these students come from Punjab alone. In 2022, international students contributed $22.3 billion to the Canadian economy, of which approximately $10.2 billion came from Indian students. While some experts say that the cap may come as a jolt for Indian students, others agree that the step could augur well for the international education market. This step is actually extremely good for international education market. Um, the last two years, especially post-COVID, really saw students really going abroad for random reasons. And um, in this surge and this in, in, entire de demand, a lot of Indian students were also duped, you know, by local agents um, and who mushroom like anything, especially in the rural areas of Punjab and now we're being, you know, mushrooming in the areas of Haryana. And if you see in the last two years, there were extremely good number of, I mean, large number of unfortunate incidents where many Indian students even, you know, died by suicide in Canada, um, mostly and most from Punjab. Um, so I think entire boom led the ecosystem to be really exploited. Um, and then finally, the Canadian government had to intervene with a desperate measure like, you know, putting student visa cap. Uh, if you see a similar thing is felt even in UK, you know, where in stricter visa rules have come into play now. Uh, despite having an Indian origin PM. So, you know, I mean, that is how I take this, right? That students who are going with certain focus around quality education, upskilling, job opportunity, and improvement in their learning and skilling should not be worried. But the ones who are just going as a migratory bird, um, looking at just a migration, you know, being, you know, student visa used as a tool to just migrate to a country like Canada should be worried and be impacted around this. Indians formed the biggest diaspora to get permanent residency in 2022. They accounted for 27% of all permanent residents admitted in Canada in 2022, followed by China, Afghanistan, Nigeria and Philippines, among others. Top undergraduate courses in Canada for Indian students include Information Technology, 
engineering and hospitality management, among others. With Canada's restrictions, industry observers say other countries are set to benefit. Some of the emerging study abroad destinations are Germany, France, Ireland, Spain, Singapore and New Zealand. According to a report, Germany has witnessed a 107% rise in Indian student enrollment between 2019 and 2023. Industry insiders believe that the restrictions in Canada will also benefit Indian universities at the undergraduate level. At the UG level, Indian universities are definitely going to, you know, uh, get a positive impact of this, you know, especially the new age liberal universities like Ashoka University, Kriya, Flame, OP Jindal and so on uh, at the undergraduate level. Um, at, you know, I mean, some demand will also go to countries, you know, like France, Germany, Singapore, recently the president of France who was in Indian tour uh, really, really um, was kind of um, putting the uh, higher education uh, in France as one of the prime agenda, you know, in his visit. So France, Germany, Singapore, New Zealand, and some smaller Scandinavian, you know, Scandinavian countries, you know, like Norway, uh, Sweden, Finland, they are definitely going to gain, gain from this. For now, Canada aims to tackle the menace of private colleges exploiting international students and improve its healthcare infrastructure. Analysts expect the visa restrictions on students will be lifted once the country sets its house in order. In the near term, Indian universities will benefit at the UG level. For higher education, students will continue to prefer travelling overseas as new alternatives are coming up fast. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's making plans for an early retirement. Business Standard